Welcome to Science Club. We're gonna look at reversible reactions. Today we're gonna have a, a copper sulfate with the water molecule which is hydrated. When you feel like uh, drinking water, it's like you're hydrating yourself. So we have copper sulfate, it's just like those substance which uh, when you leave them in air, they absorb the water and uh, upon heating they will release that, those water molecules. Uh, when they are in the hydrated form, for especially copper sulfate, in the hydrated form is blue color powder, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And you heat it up, it will turn into actually a white powder. You can look at here, it will turn into a white powder, which is called anhydrous. We don't call it as uh, dehydrated, we call it as anhydrous without water. You have to wait for three minutes because this side is actually endothermic because you're going to put the heat in. And uh, this side will be actually, if you want to reverse the same process, it will be uh, exothermic. Because it's exothermic, so you have to wait for three minutes for your anhydrous copper sulfate to cool down, and then you will be uh, adding some water drops, and what's gonna happen at the end, you will get the copper hydrated sulfate. Now we're gonna look at the practical. Okay. All right, guys, we have copper sulfate hydrated. You can see that it is actually blue color powder. Uh, it's, these are beautiful crystals. It's not in the powder form. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up because this part is going to be endothermic and it is going to go in. Uh, I have actually started already. It is actually safety flame. Uh, we have the uh, hydrated copper sulfate there. That's a spatula we use to take the uh, hydrated copper sulfate out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put onto the heating flame and start heating it up. While we're heating, you will see the water is actually coming out of it and it will actually go uh, out of the uh, boiling tube. One thing I want to mention when you do th this type of practical you need to make sure that the the direction of the test tube is away from you. It's actually you can see that it is in, a, in an angle that is not coming towards me. It's just for the safety purpose. Uh, if you can see as the reaction is progressing the blue color uh, co hydrated copper sulfate is converting into anhydrous copper sulfate and you can see some of the moisture there if you see that the whole boiling tube uh, is actually uh, getting moisture because obviously the top part is actually cold so the water which is evaporating out of copper sulfate is actually condensing on the top of the uh, boiling tube if you see the bo bottom bit uh, obviously i have to actually uh, uh, swirl it or try to make sure that it all all is uh, uh, mixed up with the anhydrous copper sulfate i'm just going to stay here because it can actually uh, go out and it's gonna go into my face. So I'm just gonna wait for like a one or two minutes Right what we're gonna do now because the, all the bottom bit is actually uh, Converted into an hydrous we're gonna wait for three minutes and then we're gonna start putting water Okay. Right, it's been three minutes now. Uh, the anhydrous copper sulfate is cooled down. So I'm going to start actually adding water drop by drop. It should go back into the beautiful blue color. You can see that. I can see some here some noise. It's an exothermic reaction. And you can see that, that it is converting back into hydrated copper sulfate. And it's bubbling as well, exothermic reaction. And you can see that it is producing hydrated copper sulfate. This is called reversible reaction that how you can actually use uh, uh, the adding water and reverse the hyd anhydrous into hydrated copper sulfate. Thank you.